professor uh, manoj sir i just wanted to hear from you are there any specific ideas to minimize this fresh water exploitation edha sila valigal iruka and namba namba veetlayum kudi seri illa namba society kudi seri illa as a entire country is there any specific uh, thing where we can stop the fresh water exploitation பெரிய பெரிய கேள்விகள் எல்லாம் கேட்கிறீர்கள் Uh, the way that you are asking is uh, very intensive but i feel that the solutions are very simple i feel there is no exploitation but there is only you know unmonitored utilization so i have been rapidly writing some points here we don't monitor what we are using if we are using fresh water uh, do we do we actually monitor the per capita consumption of fresh water per household or the per capita consumption of water per industry see we are saying அந்த ஏரியால நிறைய இண்டஸ்ட்ரி இது குட்டி குட்டியா இண்டஸ்ட்ரி இருக்குது ஸ்கிராப் மெட்டல் ப்ராசஸிங் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி இருக்கு ஆஸ்பெஸ்டஸ் ப்ராசஸிங் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி இருக்கு தேர் லாட் ஆஃப் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் பட் வாட் இஸ் தி வி நோ தட் தேர் ஆர் பாயிண்ட் சோர்சஸ் ஆஃப் பொல்யூஷன் அண்ட் தேர் ஆர் நான் பாயிண்ட் சோர்சஸ் ஆஃப் பொல்யூஷன் சிமிலர்லி தேர் ஆர் பாயிண்ட் சோர்சஸ் ஆஃப் கன்சம்ஷன் அண்ட் தேர் ஆர் நான் பாயிண்ட் சோர்சஸ் ஆஃப் கன்சம்ஷன் தென் தேர் ஆர் ஏரியா சோர்சஸ் ஆஃப் கன்சம்ஷன் ஸோ தேர் இஸ் ஹாவ் வி சயின்டிஃபிகலி சீன் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் திஸ் டேட்டா இஸ் அவைலபிள் சார் இட் இஸ் அவைலபிள் ஃப்ரம் நைன்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டி ஆர் நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி இட்ஸ் ground water department kerala this tamil nadu ground water department public works department all these people have a huge data bank of information available so if we do if we utilize the newest methods of data analytics uh, big data if we use all these methods to calculate all those data itself we will get a humongous amount of uh, modeling see the, these german people what they do they do these hydrological modeling models uh, they have a software called mike m i k e they can actually simulate uh, our uh, pratap sir i uh, sir your name is pratap sir 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 amang sir amang sir uh, so pratap sir was talking about you know the flow of water from one place to another and idu vandu idhe idu vandu anna palgalai kalagathula vandu center for environmental studies na phd panna kalagathula vandu dr dirk walter nu solra german scientist undaru avaru vandu indha idhu vandu simulate பண்ணுவாரு நம்ம அடையார் ஈகோ பார்க் எல்லாம் பண்ணது அவங்க ப்ராஜெக்ட் தான் அவங்க என்ன பண்ணுவாங்கன்னா தே யூஸ் டு டூ இஸ் சிமுலேஷன் அண்ட் தே வில் கரெக்ட்லி ப்ரெடிக்ட் இவ்வளவு வாட்டர் கன்சம்ஷன் வந்து இது பண்ணனா ஊரணி எப்படி ரெஸ்டோர் பண்றது சோ தேர் ஆர் சயின்டிபிக் மெத்தட்ஸ் அவேலபிள் சோ வாட் ஐ ஃபீல் இஸ் தேர் இஸ் நோ எக்ஸ்ப்ளாய்டேஷன் சி பீப்பிள் ஆர் நாட் இன்டென்ஷனலி ஹார்மிங் தி என்விரான்மென்ட் நோபடி வான்ட்ஸ் டு ஹார்ம் தி என்விரான்மென்ட் அப்சல்யூட்லி நோபடி தே ஆர் டுயிங் இட் ஐதர் बिकॉज தே டோன்ட் நோ தி கான்சிக்வென்சஸ் ஆஃப் தேர் ஆக்சன் ஆர் தே சிம்பிளி ஹேவ் நோ अदर வே ஓகே a person having an industry very small scale industry you this is one of the first lessons that i learned as a scholar you cannot force a small scale industry person with very stringent government norms in terms of environmental conservation you cannot tell him that see these are the environmental norms that you are supposed to strictly adhere to because it is simply impossible the fellow will be releasing water which is having a cod of say 50000 mg per liter this process is like that okay now you cannot ask him to install an effluent treatment plant for that particular uh, thing because the cost of installing a treatment unit for treatment of a water that is that much concentrated is extremely expensive he simply cannot afford it and there are no government mechanisms to support that person with a centralized uh, effluent treatment uh, system there is there, i don't think there is we have infrastructure parks we have industrial infrastructure parks but for small scale industries for small scale households what are the provisions provided maybe the government has provisions but people are not aware this is also there so one more thing industry these small industries what is the point impact how much impact are they really making what is their point you see you draw circles you draw circles this industry how much how much of an area does it impact this industry how much does an area industry and you do a triangulation you see which, what is the concentration of industries which are actually affecting your water body you cannot simply go and say that you know because of your industry my water body is getting scarce please do not add an emotional quotient quotient to it we should study the so that is one then uh, i will tell you about temple wells temple wells the one of the major problem with the temple well now uh i think in 2007 or uh, it was uh, yeah i think it is 2000 2007 uh, 2007 we had a problem i was part of the team which went along with my professor to virudhunagar there is a tapakolam there very famous tapakolam in virudhunagar and the fishes started dying they started coming up so as biologist we have to go and collect the fish there. we have to cut it open put it in hplc and see what are the chemicals that are there we found high concentrations of heavy metals 
from where it is coming in a temple well heavy metal is coming then what we did we tried to locate the sources of the water we found that one of the sources of water that was feeding the water into the temple well is actually located inside a garbage pitch you know the garbage dump kuppa med irukku illa kuppa med la kola irukku anda kolathula inda kuppa vande makki pogumbodhu leach aid nu solvanga inda heavy metal leach aayi anda anda source well ku la varudhu adu vande enna pannirukanga usually anda well use panna matanga ஒரு ஒரு மாசத்துக்கு முன்னாடி வெள்ள தெப்ப குளத்துல லெவல் கொஞ்சம் கம்மியானதுனால அந்த வாழ்வை திறந்து விட்டுருக்கானுங்க you have fresh water you have brackish water you have salt water and all three of them have three different levels of salinity which water you will use wheat la kola la thanni la konja uppu jaasti anale thala narachi poyirudhu ipo na thala fulla mehandi da theechu vechirukken tharpa varudhu because uh, see i am only in my 40s i am in my early 40s and uh, my hair is not supposed to go grey i am i have enough melanin pigment in my body which should secrete but unfortunately because of the water because of the high salt concentration in the water the hair fiber is simply getting corroded away and everybody is getting yellow so at 20 years also you get that gray of uh, hair and the barber shop they are making thousands of rupees uh, putting color on your hair so uh, coming back to the subject on hand you see this uh, utilization of sea water so sea water as professor told the sea water is uh, one is preventing the fresh water from going into the sea the other one which we are forgetting often is utilization of the sea water back into fresh water now there are so many technologies available see what i don't understand is in every government body there are professors sitting there are people from the uh, iit sitting there are people from anna university sitting there are people from research institutions sitting they are sitting and they are giving lot of suggestions and the suggestions are implemented as projects and so many funding is being done but why are we not able to see visible changes so that is where the ngos like uh, your esteemed organization should really raise the question okay sir where is the scientific data for my uh, like mr pratap is trying to restore all the water ecosystems of coimbatore then he should be able to ask where is the scientific data give me the scientific data for the real impact so he has told i have restored the 30 different species of uh, butterflies what is the ecological balance that has been restored because of these butterflies the butterfly patamuchi pandichina ecosystem restore ayiruma restore aagum what is the metrics ipo vandu ecological succession or process solranga sir ecological succession na or paalai vanam vandu eppadi or solai vanamaga maagiradu so in the process vandu or scientific process la study pannanga nariya per nariya varshama study pannanga so idu irukku indradukana methods irukku ecological restoration is a specific scientific discipline so we have specific methods to restore lake ecosystems and people around the country are doing it na industry la irukumbodhu sir jain irrigation system la irukumbodhu they used to do ecological restoration not for environmental interest they used to do it for commercial interest what they used to do they used to do microbial bioremediation to wasteland they will buy large areas of land at very cheap price which have been labeled wasteland then they will bring the israeli technology they will put the drip lines sir and through the drip lines they will inject a microbial solution it will take 5 to 6 years but the industry is so big that it can wait for those 5 to 6 years that gradually the microbiota of the soil will increase the bacteria will come once the bacteria come the moisture level of the soil will have an impact once the moisture level of the soil has an impact slowly you will get some microgreens then environment will start restoring itself so ecological succession correct plan pandranga sir graph potu na paathirukken ஸோ மெத்தட்ஸ் இருக்குது நம்ம வந்து அதை வந்து நம்மள நம்ம தமிழ் கீழே அதை கொண்டு வரணும் சார் இதுதான் என்னுடைய சின்ன கருத்து சார்